Them girl, they brain full of codeine Juggy Josie, she Run from the war and no show a flop scene Twinkle alone against the world, that's me Did I me? Nation, I told you I told you that the clash was not going to be over just so Although I was slightly annoyed with the fact that Jada Kingdom went live Vibing to the song what Steph London put out of this hour just an hour before the blasted song release, Jada Kingdom shared a preview of the song in her Instagram stories, stating that she was not going to share the song. Maybe a lot of supporters stated that no man this too bad, you have to drop it, you need to drop it, and Jada got a change of mind and dropped the song. Just accept that, you do lie but your real belly don't flat, why am I front the and head top? I know you're vexed but I can't take the fuck back. A song that a fling jobs, hopper cut, lower cut, all type of swing. Jada come with something like a different style. Not a big change as she's the type of person to remain cool on a track. But there is the inclusion of a few new flows. New info release in the song, different type of this, different type of lyrics. And the lyrics is what we are going through right now. First of all though, me have got bone a little fire on Jada Kingdom. Although I noticed that, you know, the world dancehall is becoming more accepting of certain things. But... How dare you put Derek Morgan on the track? I know everybody in the thing to sing with Derek Morgan. Some people might alright with it, but I am not a fan of certain activities and certain people, including Derek Morgan. Derek Morgan is basically just a homosexual man parading around on social media. So why you needed that man at the intro of the song? What about Derek? So why you have to use him at the intro of the song? Is it because he's a popular homosexual? I don't know. But this is dancehall and although the world has become more open with certain things. Still, I take a couple points off of the song just because of that. Now the entertainment feed community. After the release of that song, after the release of Jada sang this song for Stefan Dan. The same homosexual guy that I spoke about it, he went on social media, must say Instagram or TikTok. I demand that thing from Jada Kingdom for using in his song. J um, good night, Jada came down. This is Derek Morgan. I just hear your song about Derek Morgan, and I like you could have helped me right now, right now, Jada Kingdom. Come me home, sleep on the street. I want to help me. You see, you put out your, your song and put me vice on your song, so I have a little assistant help with it. And I need some help right now with Jada King and Jada King and you need to run off Uncle Derek now in Jamaica. I suffer like a dog on the street. Man want to kill me. You can most can't help with a fellow apartment if you live right now, Jada King. Help me out right now, right now. Reach out to Derek man and no, 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 Jada King down. Act like a big woman, Jada King down. Act like a big woman, Jada King. Act like a big woman. Yeah, act like a big man. Come from Brighton Town. Yes. Yes, a Derek Morgan sister. The one and only Derek Morgan on TikTok. I suffer bad Jada King. Run out, support Derek Morgan. In, in every assistant, every can do this homeless man in a Kingston, Jamaica. Run out, Jada King. Uncle Derek. Run out, run out, run out. And hey, Derek Morgan, no. Yes. I want to get boss, I want to travel to foreign country, I want to live some nice life on the North Coast, run out through the kingdom of the uncle. Although I already thought Steph London's song was better than this, and I'm not being biased, this is an okay song. But because of what happened now with that homosexual guy, Derek Morgan, I feel as if you have lost this battle being a real Jada. London bed, your pussy come and like a letter. Fuck out and dead, just go put that on a stretcher. You suck the most dick, you're not eligible for lecture. You pull up with a bag of batty man, now where this far? Steph London reacting to the song stated, Is this a prank? You still got time to delete this Twinkie. Couple carrots, well, I am not going to count how much carrot that, although it look like a seven carrots. But... <laughs> The post continues stating, anyway, off to bed, peace. Shelly and Quran of Tea Time Talk with Shelly reacting to the song. She stated, Dear Jada fans, please accept this is the biggest garbage this track. It wasn't even needed. Now you nailed yourself. Oh, a hype you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, sir. I told my good duel in a song, make you bitter. It's like you're obsessed. Make just send you a picture. Burna boy, you see where you cars? Yan your woman a good feel like a while then Yan Jada Kingdom Ganga link. And then you end up a sing about the girl Kitty in a song. 
Burna, if you know, you're going to go back to Steph London where you're about to put Jada Kingdom crutches in a song. See it? Jada Kingdom must say, Dr. Mad Steph London. Out of all of the women, them in a Jamaica in a blasted world. Even Steph London never make it in a song. Although a lot of people stated that last last is about her. It is because of her why he sang that song. But still, her name wasn't mentioned in a song. Jada name mentioned in the song. And being real, Jada Kingdom at the end of the day will always have that over Steph London. Right now, Burner Boy probably in a studio work on a song for Steph London. Or a work on a song and a meds some way. How him can include Steph London name in that song? I told my go do all in a song, make you bitter. It's like you obsessed. Make you just send your picture. Look how you don't him out around water, use a liquor. But wouldn't even finger you, I would do that bitch. Yeah. Rest of the lines, them in other part of the song, they too much bad thing I go on. Honestly speaking, too comfortable for talk about send kitty picture and them kind of thing. Then imagine a man now for put it in a song. And a talk boy coming like you obsessed over my hood, me I go send you a wood picture. It not right. Even if I style Jada style Stefan, it just don't sound right in a song. And then I go say you would even finger Stefan than a what bitch ya. Meaning it's okay with fingering girls and so on. As in a woman a finger next woman, but she just wouldn't finger Stefan Dan. Do them a thump each other in a mouth and so but you know a two women them a clash and I guess they are allowed to say certain things because certain things when it comes to women of course they are more accepting in society perfect example which one of them male entertainers they could have really come use Derek Morgan in a which intro any song much less a clash song you mad you are, that's an automatic loser right there but a whole heap of jobs make as mentioned before so let us continue with the song just accept that you do lie but your real belly don't flat why am I front the on the head top? I know you're vexed, but I can't take the fuck back. Chorus, I feel as if uh, Jada should have come with a different thing for the chorus, you know, because nobody now really talk about Steph London belly not being actually flat and she doing a lipo. And remember, it is the chorus of the song, so the chorus of the song should be something that I hit. But I feel as if that part of the song now really hit. And not only that, the rest of the chorus uh, seems as if it's still about Burner Boy. We already get over the part there, you know, with Jada and Burner Boy, uh, this and that and But I'm just saying, we already get over the part there, so it's not really exciting. Yes, I good rhyming and wordplay, lyrics and so, as a matter of fact, not much wordplay. But still, good little vibe go on. At the same time, it not really punch as stated before, because it's did this right there, so the topic are not really not new. Let us continue though. You need to get your misery arranged. Me you say Baker fuck you and cut said day. Steph London, you need to know something more about that. Baker, I'm not disrespecting about your wet day, man, you know. Steph London, what kind of thought that Jada make about you giving Baker peace and then cutting the next day? It better be a different kind of Baker, you know. Baker, I'm not bad mind you. I'm not bad mind you, but I just say it better be a different kind of Baker. Because can't the wet day, Baker. Steph London, this Steph London, really take it and get to and then cut the next day. Yeah, the tree some with your mother, what the fuck in this grace? No sick. Ah. Boy, Steph London, mother look damn good, you know. For real. I know, girl, you know. And that video that I saw with Steph London and her mom, it's not a dirty video or anything like that, you know, but I don't know where was that. But the mother look well sexy up in a little piece of thing there. I said to myself, hey, mommy, I'm going good. So I'm just saying. Probably a few people will. <laughs> Probably a few people will find that the tree some with mother line easy to believe. I'm just saying, mommy Steph, big up your damn self, your sexy self. Just accept that you do lie, but your real belly don't flat. Why am I front the bandit taps? I know you're vexed, but I can't take the fuck back. At the end of the day, donation, I still give. Uh, Steph London's uh, most recent song, The Edge Over All of the Songs in The Clash. The song just have a different punch, different vibe, different kind of production, different type of delivery. And this is a damn good song from Jada Kingdom in about. It is certainly not as hot as the one that Steph London released. Amid the Steph London Jada Kingdom battle right now, Many people have been calling for dancehall artist Massacre to step forth to prove his power within the space. But let's face it, if you've been following Massacre's career for the past 10 years or more, you would know that right now Massacre is what, in what we would call celebratory mode. Massacre has gone ahead and proven himself worthy to beat him chest and call himself the baddest thing. This is why. He has gone up amongst some of the greatest. 
some of the greats who were already ahead of him in the race. But they did not entertain him. They disrespected him, humiliated him, and what we call style him. But now he passed them people in the race and I maintain better than them. I remember one of these guys came on TV and said, Oh, you are talking about your sacrifice career. You're not a career youth. Where is that person's career now? Compared to Massacre. So he has proven that he does not need to prove his powers through lyrical battles. The only person who would be worthy of Massacre's time right now is Kaleido. Kaleido sacrificed his own growth and career to assist Massacre's career. So if Masika entertain Kaleido, we can understand that. But why now would a man who has been enjoying such great international success, such great record sales, such great international deals, such great international press, press presence, stop his celebration to prove to who? To prove what? Who will he go up against? Who will Masika go up against now to say that, yo, me are the man? The people who were supposed to go up against him then did not want to. And in fact, most of those people are now at his feet. Saying, respect Jenna. Because that's how life is. So at this point in the game, Masika kind of need the controversy. And what you, the fans, are looking for is not for him to prove his greatness or to prove his prowess. You are looking for him to create some form of controversial stir within the space. Fame name called for 15 years and then stopped. When two new people start again. Masika Carrillo need that right now. When he needed controversy, he was not offered the support other than that of Kaleido. So right now, Masi, you focus by your success, focus by your winning, focus by your international projections. And that's important right now. No worry about no beef and no battle with nobody. Because in fact, like I said, they're not worthy of your time and attention within the space right now. Continue beating the chest and call yourself the greatest. Because you are showing your greatness through your work. Without controversy, without lyrical battles. You understand? Straight.